Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you so much for joining us and watching today's tips and tricks video. So we're back to the fireworks effect and I thought maybe after a couple days off of not seeing this, maybe you would have played with it on your own, but uh, I'm coming back to the fireworks effect because I want to share um, I want to share some interesting things that I didn't share originally. So we know now that the XY location, and if you haven't seen the other video, make sure you check the video description. I'm going to have to link it in or uh, just look in the channel. It's going to be one of the relatively newest videos. This is uh, the functionality that's in X lights as far as the firework effect has been upgraded. And we've already talked about in the other video how the uh, locked position of minus one on both the X and Y location axis are... Uh, are to kind of lock in the original effect where it would spawn uh, each of the fireworks effects in um, varied locations or in random locations. So to unlock that, what we can do is we can move these over here and you'll see that all the fireworks are now gonna locate only here in this one area. Um, what I want to show you today is I want to show you a little bit about the gravity, the hold color, and go through these other two sliders here so you can see what kind of cool stuff they do. So first of all, I'm going to pump this up full. I want fireworks going off here all the time just so that I can explain this. So first of all, you're going to notice I have a value curve set to the color. We call that a color curve. And to do a color curve, you just right click on top of any of the color palettes and you can select any predetermined color curve here or you can make your own. Um, you can click OK there and now you can see that the effects are just spawning different colors and it's because we have hold this physical color that's checked in the uh, color curve value box. So what happens, let's see what happens when we uncheck the hold color and we kind of get the same thing because we have one color checked. But if we select multiples, now you're going to get multiples of each of those colors that are selected. Plus, whatever color spawns this first box, whatever, whatever firework uh, spawns that first box, it's going to create that effect at the color time that it begins and it's going to travel through the rest of those colors. So if we uncheck that, you'll see we have red, green, and blue coming out. We can add purple in there too. It's kind of neat. Uh, a little bit of a different uh, array of, of creating an effect. You can obviously create multiple layers of this effect uh, and that that is definitely an option. So the hold color will hold the color of the effect and let's get rid of all of these here. And you'll see it transpose through all of the fireworks. So next we have the gravity. Um, gravity is pretty cool. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this on green. Green and blue. So every other color is green and blue. So now you can see we have gravity. Gravity is pulling all of our fireworks and effects into the ground. You can see that going out here, it's even pulling the gravity of the effect to the downward position. And then it's not allowing the effect to travel up as high. There's far more down travel than there is up travel in the fireworks. So if we turn off gravity, it becomes more like what you might see in outer space. We'll go ahead and turn that down a little bit. So I hope you can see, let's go ahead and get rid of the dark colors and just use the light ones. And you can see the trajectory, the velocity of the particles. We, we have a slider for those as well. We can make them a little bit further. And that really gives it a really neat effect. But as soon as you turn on the gravity, watch what happens. And you can see that the trajectory is going way out there, but they're still pulling it down. If we lower the velocity, you can see a lot more gravity taking place because there isn't much of a velocity to the original explosion. So there's the gravity and the hold color. Now let's talk about the X velocity and the Y velocity. If we make a simple change to the X velocity, it's going to start directing the explosion a certain way. So we're gonna make a couple small changes. I'm gonna change it to eight here. And you'll still see that it's going to the left here, but now more of it's going to the right. I'm going to turn off gravity so gravity doesn't have as much of an impact. Uh, let's make it 16 now. And you can see even more pulling to the right. Let's go to 
30, you can see a lot more pulling to the right. And if we go 50, you can see a whole lot more going to the right. So you have this option of directing the explosion a certain way. This kind of gives you a lot of freedom to create effects different ways that you'd never had the opportunity to do it before. So the total rewrite in the, the fireworks effect allows us to direct where we're exploding from. And then also the same instance is, is the case for the Y. If you want uh, to have your explosions going straight up like this, and then you want, the, want gravity to pull it down, so now you see it going up and then coming back down and that's a really really interesting way to utilize an effect if that's something that you're looking to do um, and and once again uh, these these functionalities if it wasn't for the work and the development by the development team X lights has um, we really wouldn't have a lot of the new functionality so huge shout out to Keith Gill Dan Scott and Kevin who are the current developers that work very hard on our uh, on the on the um, program that we use to run our holiday light displays. So guys, thanks for taking the time to check out this tips and tricks video. This is the part two of the fireworks effect. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you love it. Make sure you hit the big red subscribe button. Use the bell for notifications of all new videos when we produce new content that you'll be able to have access to as soon as it's put out. Finally, folks, thank you so much for joining us at the PPD website pixelprodisplays.com if you haven't signed up to become a sequence club member you get one free sequence each month with your membership you also get a huge savings on all your coro pixels and controller build props and so forth so give us a tryout if you love the content that we put out please feel free to support us by becoming a sequence club member today folks thank you so much we'll see you in the next video with those and me. Sam, and every time it rains, it rains. And over